They were in the living room, eating their suppers on their knees in front of the telly. The suppers were TV dinners in floppy aluminium containers with separate compartments for the stewed meat, the boiled potatoes and the peas. Mrs Wormwood sat munching her meal with her eyes glued to the American soap opera on the screen. She was a large woman whose hair was dyed platinum blonde, except where you could see the mousy brown bits growing out from the roots. She wore heavy makeup, and she had one of those unfortunate bulging figures where the flesh appears to be strapped in all around the body to prevent it from falling out. Mummy, Matilda said, would you mind if I ate my supper in the dining room so I could read my book? The father glanced up sharply. I would mind, he snapped. Supper is a family gathering and no one leaves the table till it's over. But we're not at the table, Matilda said. We never are. We're always eating off our knees and watching the telly. What's wrong with watching the telly, may I ask? The father said. His voice had suddenly become soft and dangerous. Matilda didn't trust herself to answer him, so she kept quiet. She could feel the anger boiling up inside her. She knew it was wrong to hate her parents like this, but she was finding it very hard not to do so. All the reading she had done had given her a view of life that they had never seen. If only they would read a little Dickens or Kipling, they would soon discover there was more to life than cheating people and watching television. Another thing. She resented being told constantly that she was ignorant and stupid when she knew she wasn't. The anger inside her went on boiling and boiling, and as she lay in bed that night, she made a decision. She decided that every time her father or her mother was beastly to her, she would get her own back in some way or another. A small victory or two would help her to tolerate their idiocies and would stop her from going crazy. You must remember that she was still hardly five years old and it's not easy for somebody as small as that to score points against an all-powerful grown-up. Even so, she was determined to have a go. Her father, after what had happened in front of the telly that evening, was first on her list.